I have three criteria for me to fall in love with an artist. They need to experiment. Some aspect of their sound needs to make me stop and say, hmm, you don't hear like that every day. They need to be varied. They can't just make one type or vibe of music. You can look to them for a ballad, a banger, or a bleak song. I just wanna keep the alliteration. And they need to be addicting. I need to be able to listen to multiple different songs off of multiple different albums and have trouble picking a favorite. Well, there is a fourth, but that's not even really technically a criteria. A lot of bonus points, let's say, if you have strong visual branding and beautiful artwork. I find that pretty important, but it's not really make or break. This process is kind of like building a house, you know? It's hard to kind of live in it when they don't have all the pieces together. But when an artist is able to meet most of this criteria, there's a pretty good chance that I'm gonna love their music. But finding artists like that is kind of a fight sometimes. And we have a new contender. I discovered Young Fathers, no joke, scrolling through Pinterest. Yes, if you're keeping score, that is two artists I've talked about on this channel that I've found browsing Pinterest. I'm, I'm a designer, so like, it's my job, so cut me some slack. I discovered Young Fathers when I found the album cover for Coco Sugar in around 2019-ish. I found the photo intoxicating. The colors were so vibrant, the framing was perfect, and the imagery was so striking. Just A+, plus, perfect piece of business. And since they just released their new album, Heavy Heavy, I found this is a good time to kind of bring everything full circle for myself. Young Fathers is an Edinburgh trio consisting of Aloysius, Caius, and G. And as of this video, Young Fathers have released four studio albums in roughly 10 years. 2014's debut and Mercury Prize winning album, Dead. 2015's White Men Are Black Men 2. 2018's Coco Sugar and 2023's Heavy Heavy. They also have two mixtapes, appropriately titled Tape 1 and Tape 2, but I'm going to be only focusing on studio albums for this video because I haven't listened to those. Cut me some slack. I pictured it as like a bowl of candy in front of me. If I wanted to, I could eat the entire thing in one sitting, but then I'd have no more candy. I look to it as more picking candy here and there so that I always have new and exciting flavors to try. I think Young Fathers has the hottest streak of album artwork ever. All of them have eye-catching imagery, perfect composition, and outstanding color choice. Without even listening to a single note, these album covers make me want to go out of my way to listen to the music, and that is huge for me. So let's just hold on to this as a smiley face for now. But after they rope you in with the presentation, you stay for the sound. I don't think it's inappropriate to say that I think Young Fathers is the future of music. Bold, but not incorrect in regards to this kind of genre-less creation. I know every artist says this, you can't box me in, bro, when their music is usually in the ballpark of either experimental hip-hop or pop rock. Young Fathers, I feel, is the only project that I could take a dartboard, fill with as many genres as I could think of, and close my eyes and throw it, and then have it land on something and they have a song that perfectly describes that. I, I can't think of anyone else that could do that, that fits that criteria. This is a long, drawn-out way of saying they experiment. No two songs have the same DNA, and that makes things exciting for me. And the fact that they rarely use a snare, like, blows my mind. I'd assume that that'd be the death nail in the coffin for a lot of bands, but for some reason, they, they make it work. Well, let's go down the list. Experimentation. For fuck's sake. Old rock and roll has some weird guitar, or sitar, or like, an uninvented instrument. A tambourine and 808s. It's like a peanut butter and motor oil sandwich, but it's delicious. <laughs> Border Girl has this weird farty bass that sounds really stupid on paper, but it weirdly works along with these beatbox drums. Like, the drums, it, it's someone's voice. Like, f uh, goddamn. And Hangman, ugh, these intentionally off-key synths that sound like they found a physical dot .wave file, brushed off the dust and just popped it in their hard drive and created this. Amazing song, and I highly recommend this one. So I'd say a check in that department for sure. Experimentation is great and all, but I feel some artists can use this as a crutch to fall on when giving someone a varied album experience, chalking everything up to it's experimental. Jonathan Higgs, if everything, everything dubbed this the playlist album. 
Albums where no two songs sound the same, and you can pick and choose which song you want to listen to depending on your mood. And I think that is awesome. And that, in a word, makes an artist varied. Get Up is the definition of a banger. Hard-hitting drums, Sahara cell phone music samples, and a catchy hook. Pardon my pun, but I don't know how you can listen to this and not get up. Feasting. An eerie distorted bass, unsettling group vocals, and just this explosive demeanor that just makes the song a whirlwind the whole time you're listening to it. And tell somebody, ugh. Oh, this absolute explosive ballad with the most grimy and distorted bass I've ever heard. But it fits so flawlessly under these beautiful falsettos, giving this weird heaven and hell kind of dynamic. It just makes you want to drop to your knees main character style and just look at the sky. We have two pieces now. But the last one is usually where this structure kind of collapses. It's easy to be experimental and it's commendable to be varied. But if your music doesn't implant itself in my brain and force me to listen to the same song a million times just to get it out of my system, then you're doing something wrong. I said, oh, wow. wow, the first Young Father song I've ever heard. A song constantly building tension, with pounding drums, otherworldly synthesizers, and hypnotizing vocals. Something that paints such a vivid picture in my mind that I don't want to explain because I'm worried I'm going to deprive you of listening to it for the first time and creating your own mental picture. I saw it's like someone gave Elephant by Tame Impala steroids. And then it'd be not so Tame Impala. Such a sticky hook with crazy chanted vocals and a beautiful crescendo. It just all collides into this pounding, marching anthem. And no way. Probably my favorite Young Father song at the moment. A perfect homage to their Scottish roots with the intro of distorted bagpipes. Awesome fuzzed out synthesizers that play the entire time. Vocals that just feel occult. And an amazing chorus that is just unbelievable. Insert adjective here. If you ever need motivation to get shit done, play this song. A bombastic and triumphant chorus, just, I can't oversell this one, please listen to No Way. If the video wasn't obvious up until this point, Young Fathers have achieved the uh, My Favorite Artist status. I haven't found an act that perfectly constructs this holy trinity in such a long time. There's a part of me that selfishly wants to keep Young Fathers as my dirty little secret, but knowing the music that they have released and the music they're going to release, it's only a matter of time that these men are going to get their adulation and have their moment in the sun. I implore you to check out Young Fathers. I think they're the future, and you will not be disappointed with what you hear. Because I sure as hell wasn't. And let me know if this meets your criteria for your favorite artist. Goddamn, good shit.